Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Tonight, we're making Millionaire Pie. A big impression, but so easy. So, we're gonna get started. This is a very simple dessert. I'm gonna use a hand mixer because it's easy, and I don't wanna, uh, it's not a lot of mixing, so I just thought that would be the best thing to do. We're gonna be using pineapple, and we're gonna want to drain it. I'm gonna use two cans in one pie. Okay, these are eight ounce crushed pineapple. I'm going to uh, put them over a bowl and press them to strain them. So we've got to strain out our pineapple and our cherries that we're going to use. And I'm actually going to use this uh, juice to do a different dessert tomorrow. So, and that way I don't waste it. Or you could always drink it in a punch or a tea. Flavor some tea. But you're going to want to press it good. Make sure you get all of the moisture out of it, or most of it out of it. So really do a good job. You can buy these. Um, through our website, these little strainers, or you can pick them up real cheap at the grocery store even. They're great to have in the kitchen. And when you buy them, they usually come in a set, about three different sizes. So, they're really good to have. All right. Now, we're going to also go ahead and pour some cherries in here and let these be draining. Well, okay, so while those drain, you're going to need some Cool Whip that's thawed, an 8-ounce cream cheese in your bowl, and I'm only making one pie, okay? So if you want to do two pies, um, double. you would double this. Matter of fact, I need to take half of this off. Right, wait. <laughs> I need to take half of this off. I didn't want to do two pies. So y'all remember, if you do two pies, you uh, double what I'm about to use, okay? So instead of eight ounces, you'd use 16 ounces and so forth and so on, okay? So we got a half block of cream cheese, that's four ounces. We're gonna use a half can of Eagle Brand milk and I'm just gonna eyeball it. It looks about right to me. We'll give it a little bit to grow on. Mmm, cherries smell good, don't they? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take a mixer and um, we're gonna mix the cream cheese and the Eagle Brand milk together. Step's done. Now, we are going to add all of this coconut. Yes, it does call for that much coconut. Pineapple. I mean pineapple, I'm crazy. Actually, it's one can for this recipe instead of two. You just want to use half? Yeah, so I'm gonna use half the pineapple. I like to use this in my icing. I'm gonna make some Japanese fruit icing. I just posted that Japanese fruit cake and it made me want some with my juices here. Now we're going to cut up um, some cherries and put in there real quick. And so um, I can talk to y'all a little bit, I guess, while we're doing this. I'm just going to cut these cherries up. Um, you do not have to add cherries, but to me, they're pretty in it, okay? And so I wanted to do the cherries. Matter of fact, before I put all of these I guess I'll fold in a Cool Whip. You don't want to mix it with the mixer once you put the cherries in. If you do, then it's going to turn everything red and it's not going to be as pretty. So really and truly, if you were going to make this, it wouldn't hurt to take these cherries and pour them out, you know, like an hour ahead of time and then cut them up and then maybe they would 
drain even more. I love the juice. We're going to put a little lemon juice in here, too. Now, millionaire pies, there's a lot of different ones. Maybe that's why they're called millionaire, because a million different ways to make it. Um, some people use cherries. Some people don't. Some people use coconuts. Some people don't. Some people don't use uh, Eagle Red Milk. They use eggs. The only thing about that is then you're, then you're uh, serving people raw eggs. Um, so I think what they do with that is that's how the pie sets up is they use the three eggs or two eggs. I can't remember which one it was. And, um, but I would think I would rather just have the Eagle Brand milk in mine and the cream cheese. I'm sure they use the eggs instead of cream cheese, not Eagle Brand milk, because they use Eagle Brand milk in all of them. Oh, and of course, pecans goes in here. And we toasted some coconut, so we're putting everything in ours. The only thing we're not putting in ours is the eggs. And she will have a recipe at the bottom. Somebody had asked about that. She'll have a recipe on the, uh, on the post. This is a great recipe to do live because it's fast and easy. Um, anybody can make this pie, and it's good. Everybody will like it. And you don't have to work yourself to death on a dessert if you want something easy to do, okay? All right, that's enough cherry. Wipe my hands off. Now, I'm gonna take half of a lemon and squeeze into here. Um, you flip it upside down. I don't know if y'all watched my uh, video this week, but when I first started using these things, I didn't even know how to put the lemon in them. I've come a long way in two years with my show. I've learned a lot. Okay, so we're going to take this out. We're going to add about a quarter cup of chopped pecans and a little to grow on. Whoops. And I'm going to use this and we're going to fold this together with the Cool Whip. I'm going to save part of this Cool Whip because we're going to decorate the top of the pie with it with Cool Whip and coconut that I toasted. Mama used to make lemon icebox pie with the Cool Whip, the Eagle Brand milk, and the lemon juice. They were so good. Sample, just throw it into a graham cracker crust. Everybody eats it up. But now it takes a lot more lemon juice to do that. I think this lemon juice goes in there uh, for a little acid, and it goes in there probably to keep the fruit real pretty in, in color. All right, here we go. Well, we did not bake the pie crust. No, this is a pre-made Keebler graham cracker crust. I told you this was easy. Now, you can make your own. Um... All you do is take about 12 graham crackers. I put them in a gallon bag and roll them, crush them, put in about a quarter cup of sugar and about a half a stick of butter. And then you have to press it down there and bake it for a good 10 minutes. I think there's a recipe in one of my cookbooks for that, pretty sure. But there's our pie. All right, I'm gonna put a border around the edge to make it pretty, so I'm gonna push this into the middle. And I'm gonna taste it, why not? Mmm, good. It's like a fruit salad in a pie crust, <laughs> kinda. And it's better when it's cold, remember that too. Here's our coconut. If you want to toast your pecans, your peanuts, your coconut for the holidays, if you've got an air fryer, put it on 350 degrees. It only takes about from four to eight minutes. Watch it close. It is fast, way faster than putting it in the oven. Oh, let's make us a border. And a lot of times at Thanksgiving, you have so many things you're trying to bake 
I can only get so many things in the oven. Mm -hmm. This is something you can make and not, and not have to use your oven. We'll show y'all our new little oven right here on the table. We're going to do a video for it this weekend. Uh, but we'll show it to y'all when I'm done. Just for fun. I'm excited about it. Okay. And if you're going to put a border on your pie, try to make sure that you get it inside the edge so that when you put your little cover back on your pie, you don't mess your border up. That is just a shell, number 20 Wilton, and a bag, a larger bag, it's a larger tip. To make those pretty, you know, to really make it pretty, you use the larger one. And I'm gonna take a paper towel, and I'm just gonna kind of smash this to get most of the juice out of it, because when I put that cherry on there, I don't want it to run and make it ugly. Well, for heaven's sakes, while I throw it on there, And then we're going to put our crushed, I mean our shredded toasted coconut on the top. The more the merrier. Now, this is easy, simple, quick, voila. Beautiful, delicious dessert really fast full of good flavors you can't go wrong okay um i guess i can cut into it it's not going to be set up yet but i can cut into it and taste it just because i can or do you want me to chris yeah why not why not yeah because you should refrigerate this how long what do you think um i would say at least half the day four hours or so before it's actually going to set up Somebody asked if you can make it into bars instead of a pie. Um, I guess if I did that, I'd freeze them before I cut them. There's your pie cutter right there. Well, for heaven's sakes, it sure is. I would freeze it before I cut it into squares. I guess you could do that. But freeze it, cut it before you cut it into squares, and they should hold up once the pie sets up. See. I mean, it's kind of setting up, and it's not even been refrigerated yet. And my my ingredients were pretty much room temperature. You can see that. Yeah, once it sets up, you'll be able to see, like, the cherries and stuff like that. And I'm going to taste it. Short, and Shortbread crust. Somebody asked about a shortbread crust. Yes, you can do that, too. Mm-hmm. Delicious. The toasted coconut, it's better to toast the coconut and put it on the top like that than to just put flake coconut inside the pie to me because it gives it another uh, level of delicious. You can crush these and make the crust out of these two. <laughs> If you don't want to go the route, you know, to make one. Whoa! Got a sweater on. All right. I want y'all to see my new oven. Thanks for watching my millionaire pie. It tastes like a million bucks. I'll have it with some coffee in a minute. And they are better when they're cold. It's delicious, but they're so good cold. I have another pie that I make called Mile High Hawaiian Pie. It's a lot like this one, except it doesn't have the condensed milk or the cream cheese that has pudding. And it's really good. But it's so good cold. And it has bananas in it. All right, this is our new oven Kasori sent us. 
You know, Kasori is my favorite brand with the air fryer. They sent me this for free. It has, I'm just showing y'all this because I can. It has a toast, a bagel, a pizza, a bake, roast. Show them this, Chris. Air fry. It will do air frying. It will broil. It'll do a rotisserie chicken. It will dehydrate. It will ferment to raise your dough. I will be making rolls this week. Uh, for y'all to see, I'm going to make a sweet roll. I'm going to make a traditional dinner roll. And I'm going to make a nut roll. So I'll be doing a lot of rolls this week. And I'll be using this to do my uh, rising of my dough. And the cool thing is showing this right here. It comes with levels where you put your racks in. So like if you're doing dough, it tells you to put the rack at this level. And so it's really neat. Um, we'll be using it to do rotisserie chicken this week and just see how it turns out. Um, thanks for watching. We love y'all. I got a couple of gifts in the mail today. Um, and so I'll open them and talk about them on my next video because I haven't opened them yet. Thanks y'all for the uh, Merry Christmas presents already. That's exciting. Y'all are sweet. Yum. Bye y'all. Love ya.